Okay. We're gonna we're gonna show you how to do uh, preheating an iron at the same time you're mixing your dough. Um, this is Pizzelli 201. Uh, you need two timers. You need your total time and you need your repeat timer set for about 25 or 26 seconds. I'm gonna keep these up on top of the uh, the oven because things gets, things get a little busy here. Uh oh. Okay. And you need to play the nutcracker. So we've got that going. We've got our iron. We've got our we've got our stove lit. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you put the iron on, you start your total time, and you also start flipping your iron to heat it evenly uh, throughout the cycle. We're gonna do that while we're mixing our dough. So the iron goes on. Uh, we start timer one, we start timer two. Uh-oh, Jerry made a mistake here. I did not get my, my wet ingredients are not pre-beat yet, so it's going to take a little while longer. So you got to get everything incorporated wet. This will add a little bit of flow. But we can still do it. Okay, so we flip our iron. Okay. So, what you do, you start with your wet, you add all of your dry ingredients. Timer goes off, we flip our iron yet again. Still pretty cold. I will bring this over here for a second. Now we have our dough coming together. What's gonna happen is that will come together and as it does come together, uh, you wait until the dough forms a ball and actually bogs the motor down and when the motor bogs down you go from a setting of two to a setting of one and you just let the sides of the bowl come clean and you're good okay and I gotta flip my iron so so you start your timer over again now this timer, your total time, at about seven minutes, between seven and eight minutes, depending on the temperature of the kitchen, is when you actually want to um, start your first cooking. We have our iron heating, we have our dough coming together, all is generally well. And it is time to flip, so what we do, we flip our iron. And we reset, start our countdown again. Our dough is coming together. Now as soon as this becomes enough to bog the motor down, we're getting close. Listen, listen for it. Getting close. We're still preheating, time to flip. So we turn the, oh, did you hear that? Okay, you hear that? The dough has come together. So you go to one and you let it clean off the sides of the bowl. So we're almost done there. So we're gonna back up. So we have some room to work here. Sides of the bowl are clean. Okay, flipping the iron, 
reset. That comes out, and it's time to work the dough. There we go. Alrighty then. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit so you can see what we're doing. Now, your dough is all together, you make it into a jelly roll, and you divide it in half, and then each half, half again. You flip, and you reset. Okay, now you have your equal portions here for, basically you make each one of these about a third. Okay. Okay. That's our dough. And Helen used to roll these things out. Um, Okay, flip, three time, we are at five minutes, so I've got two minutes left or so, I'm a little bit behind, but we will get caught up. If I hadn't have forgotten to pre-mix the wet stuff, I'd be running on time. about your first cookie when when you first start using this iron it's going to be really hot because there's no dough in there so you want to use a large piece and your first cookie or two is going to take less time you can always taste the dough make sure you didn't forget anything But you eat raw egg at your own risk. And also, if you even out your piles like I'm doing right here, you get four even stacks. You can even them out when you're done cooking, but... Okay, we're on six minutes, we're on six minutes, when we get to seven, we're gonna start looking at when we want to do this. Okay. Okay, it's showing seven, so I'm going to let it go for another 26 seconds, and then we're going to go. So normally, I would have all the dough portioned out by the time I started cooking, but it's okay. All is not lost, because I have another hour in front of the oven. Okay, so when that goes off, I'm going to start the time again at 26 seconds, and then I'm going to load my dough. You hear that? Okay. You want to do about 15 seconds on the first one because the iron's really, really hot. And I've got some butter in there. Oh, and wall to the flowers. That's beautiful. Okay, so you flip it again. And my timer says 12 seconds. I've got my forks. By the way, when you have four lovely stacks, they come out like this. In a Starbucks bag, no less. They fit really well. Okay. So that's 12 seconds, 13, 14, 15 seconds or so. Let's see how that is. Okay. A little bit of shortening on here, but the cookie's pretty good. So you can pretty much go to full time now. Plus you want to use a smaller piece of dough because the iron's not as hot as sometimes it could be. There we go. So we reset to 26 seconds. Just because I've been doing this for so long now, I get a feel for the heat of the iron and where we're at. So I think we're going to need to go a little bit extra. I don't like playing with the time too much though because that, that could get you sideways. I don't... Whoa! And we dropped the knife. See? 
It's getting moving pretty fast. Okay, so the timer's going off. We're gonna give it a few extra seconds. We risked off our knife. And we're gonna go, we're gonna see what the cookie looks like. Okay. Nice and golden brown. Look at that, still soft. Okay. And I'm gonna add a second on the timer here as well. And I'm gonna take my time doing it. So I bumped it up to 27 seconds. And I'm gonna hit start. We're at about nine minutes now. We've done a couple cookies. And we're cooking. That's our dough. I will finish portioning out the dough. And we'll go from there. Nine, eight, seven seconds left. Good thing that knife didn't stick in my leg or foot. Okay. Okay. We added some time. See, now this is almost a little bit too brown. That's on the firm side. So, 27 seconds. And if your iron starts heating up, you use larger pieces of dough to cool it down. If your iron is cold, colder, you can use smaller pieces of dough and they don't require much time. Okay, so that's how you preheat an iron while you mix your dough at the same time in the KitchenAid. Uh, I'll do a few more cookies here. Okay, so right at 27 seconds, Okay, we're there. Nice and brown. See? Not too light, not too dark. So 27 seconds is good. Now, as the iron heats up, your cook time will come down. The kitchen will heat up because of your uh, cooking environment. So when it warms up, basically, you uh, need to shorten your times. So you just keep watching your cookies. If they all start getting darker, you dial it down by a second at, at, at each increment. I'm gonna clean off my knife. And let you listen to the nutcracker. The waltz of the flowers. Uh oh, that's what I get for talking. Oh, a little bit brown, but we're good. And you just lift and flip each time. We'll let this run through the waltz of the flowers. side already so I might back it off a second or so if I have another cookie that comes out like that it also kind of depends on how big you cut your dough so you try and evenly cut your dough and portion it uh, but you get some variability in there obviously so but you try to keep them all the same so when you're cooking, your cook times don't vary and your color doesn't vary. But you know what? That's the difference between a homemade cookie and a factory cookie. There's variability in there. And I found that when they start to peel off by themselves like that, you just saw that? Uh, that's about the right, that's the zone right there. When they don't stick to the bottom, they come up but they fall off. That means your cookie's done all the way around.
All right, so that's how you get the batch going. Now it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. You reset your uh, timer. It's gonna take me about an hour and two to an hour and five minutes, depending on how many cookies I got out of my cut. If I'm feeling in a big mode, great. Uh, I, I get less cookies. But somewhere around an hour and five minutes is typical. From when I start my timer and start my dough to when I'm done. And we're done here. So. Oh, those are looking good. Another successful cookie lesson. Hope you enjoyed. Okay. Well, we're wrapping things up on another batch of uh, cookies. Three, two, one. Flip. Reset. These are your stacks neatly. Those are my remaining pieces of dough. That's my timer. We're running at, uh, actually, you stayed at about 26 seconds. And we're about one hour and one minute. So this will take about another four minutes at 26 seconds a piece. 105. Pretty much what we committed to trust me you do this for 20 years you get used to it that is how you make homemade italian pizzelle that's also how you heat the iron and mix your dough at the same time um, and that's important when you've got 40 some odd batches to make in the span of three weeks so you try and save time as much as you can. Um, all is well. I get done with this batch. I actually get to go to happy hour with the neighbors. Catch up a little bit because I haven't seen them in a while. Duck cracker is still going. And we go. Cheers.